Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to set up your grid and scale your scene within Above VTT. Uh, so first I'm going to navigate to the Scenes tab here. I'm going to then navigate to the folder I want to create the scene in. I click the Create New Scene button and uh, for this purpose I'm going to just select one of these free Above VTT scenes that we have here from a bunch of different creators and uh, just going to click on one of these like this Neutral Parties one here switch on over to the scene so I can see it. I'm now going to click this cog uh, configure setting button here. This will open up this window and from here I'll click the super mega wizard. Uh, this will open up another window which then you can adjust the grid size by using these green handles here. Uh, so since the grids are perfectly square I'm going to select this link aligners one to one ratio setting so that way this will stay completely squared. If I deselect that, I can uh, skew it and uh, scale it uh, freehand however I'd like. But again, I'm going to keep that square so when I scale it, it stays perfectly squared. Uh, with this now, I'm going to zoom in. You can press the control and use your sc uh, scroll wheel to zoom in or use your uh, plus and minus on your keyboard to do that or use these magnifying glasses up on the top right. Uh, but yes, yeah, scroll or zoom in so you can see a little bit better of your grid and first select the top left corner and place it on the top left corner of a grid square and then grab the uh, lower right hand corner of the screen uh, a semicircle shape and drag that so that your uh, handles are creating a 3x3 three three grid uh, selecting 9 grid spaces all together. Uh, deselect that you can see it sets up this red grid line here uh, it's looking pretty good right where I have it here, but it's best to zoom out, uh, go to the edges, and zoom back in to make sure that it's all looking good. So you can see here I have a little bit of misalignment. Uh, I'm going to go to this minor vertical adjustment here, and I'm going to drag that to the left to move that down a little bit. So you can click it and then use arrow keys on your keyboard too to do some uh, minute uh, movements and adjustments, but that works for that. I'm then also going to go over to the side. Uh, and make sure that my um, horizontal adjustments are all looking good too. So that's a slightly off. It looks good, but I'm going to just fix that by clicking the horizontal adjustment button and nudge that over uh, just one. It looked like it needed. Uh, zoom back out and just check all around here. Make sure we're looking good. That looks good to me. And then um, set your grid size to whatever you like. Uh, this is, of course, a uh, five feet standard grid size for me. And um, there's some more additional grid info manual settings you can do, but uh, you can ignore that if you just want to follow these, these steps and uh, get it done easier. Uh, from here, just click Save. And you can see if I select the ruler, uh, 5 feet per grid, I can see that my grid is set up properly and showing all the uh, proper distances between these grid spaces. 